Celtic have half a team missing. Valharan and Sutton are recovering from injury. Valdi, Hartson and Thompson are suspended. Two changes from their old firm team. Tom Boyd is in for one of his collector's item appearances and Luba Moravchik partners Henrik Larsson up front. 20-year-old Stephen Craney strolled through last Sunday at Ibrox and his season will have another highlight on Monday when he's expected to be named in the Scotland squad. If it was down to pure ability, Charlie Miller would be a Scotland regular. Maybe he still can be. He's certainly the main creative influence for Dundee United. Just the one change made by Alex Smith after last Saturday's win at Tynecastle. David Winters has taken out of the starting lineup. Another teenager, Jamie McCunney, returns at right back, and 20-year-old Stuart Duff pushes forward into midfield. The referee at Celtic Park is Mike McCurry. Celtic kick off three wins away from another SPL title and trying to protect. Their phenomenal record here on their home patch in the league campaign. Played 15, won 15, 39 goals for, and they've conceded only seven. Martin O'Neill's team has scored nine goals already this season in two outings against Dundee United. 5-1 here in October, 4-0 at Tannadice in December. Aldi's pass cut out by Benitez. In from a gap, Emmett Larson not far away, and Danny Griffin had to fling himself at that to divert the ball behind. Dangerous ball in from a gap, and Griffin furious. The Celtic player was allowed to do so. First corner kick of the match, and from Steve Guppy, no marking on Moravchik, and a great chance for Stephen Craney to open his account with the opening goal of the game. You don't want to give Luba Moravchik that type of room. And just a fraction away was Craney from getting the contact he wanted here at the far post and diverting this into the net. A sore one. Joffrey immediately booked for a reckless challenge on Paul Lambert. He was late, Paul was gone. Lambert back on his feet, which is a relief for Celtic and a relief for Scotland with the big match in Paris coming up in 10 days' time. Larson. Now with Guppy. Petrov's in the box. Or after it's cross. And it was Danny Griffin, not for the first time in the match, diverting the ball away from him at Larson. His positional sense, Griffin, has been top notch for United so far. And it's had to be. Albi's a threat for United, just inside the penalty box. Guppy's delivery, and Larson. Good save, Paul Gallagher. Larson evading his marker, and then powering the header in, and touched over the top by Gallagher. Petrov, good turn. Agat, he's got beyond McCracken. Turned away by Jamie McConney. As both Guppy and Larson waited in the middle. And as time's gone by, United have become a little bit more encouraged with their performance, which has been all about stifling Celtic, but can they continue to hold out? Here's Petrov. That's good goalkeeping from Paul Gallagher. He was fired across by Petrov with some venom, and he needed a strong right hand that Gallagher here to stop that one getting through.
Luba Moravchuk looking at ways of unlocking the Dundee United defence. In from a gap, Larson was there. And a miss hit from Petrov. What a great chance there to fire Celtic in front. Just seemed to get the ball caught under his feet there, Stylian Petrov. Right in front of goal, good chance. Might have another chance here, Petrov. Back from Larson, must score this time, and does. Five minutes from half time. He did it last week at Ibrox, and this weekend at Celtic Park. The deadlock is broken. And how often has that partnership come off for Celtic? Larson and Petrov combine, and you just knew Estelle and Petrov both in on goal. Paul Gallagher was a beaten man. That's Petrov's eighth goal of the season, 1-0. On the move, Didier Agats. And caught late by Hasnit or Joffrey. And Al Joffrey is a lucky man, having already seen a yellow card in the first half. Might well have seen another one for that. to Craney. Larson. Craney again. Not far away. And again, darting into the box, it was Stylian Petrov. After a good build-up work between Craney and Larson. And Petrov not far short of hitting that one in. being played, a gut shot deflected and no great advantage forthcoming for Celtic who might well have had a free kick right at the edge of the area given against Hasney or Joffrey, there was the arm used twice over, once accidentally, then deliberately fortunate Al Joffrey was outside the box though Marachik, Petrov, lovely touch. Larson trying to ease Griffin off the ball, he's done it. And a corner kick is the outcome. After Larson made a menace of himself, Griffin thought he had it, then he lost it. And it took his last touch off uh, Jim Laughlin. In from Moravchik, wickedly in the swinging. Lennon's header, that was McCracken. And Petrov! Spectacular effort from Cillian Petrov. He scored already, and he had a good crack at putting this one in. Brilliant technique, and unfortunate for him, but it flew straight at Paul Gallagher. And Petrov has some room. Larson. Wide open spaces for him. All the way through to Guppy. Away by Easton. And there's Fonis Modavchik. Slight sense of anti climax around Celtic Park. It seemed well set up this for a Modavchik special. They're all fizzled out, bouncing effort into the arms of Gallagher. He's so quick, Didier Agatz. Moravchik! That's a great stop by Jamie McCunney. Got himself in the way of that as Moravchik seems certain to tap that away for number two. Might well be the last piece of action for Lubo Moravchik, as I'm sure that uh, his number is up down below us. He 
It is again Luka Mravchik, final flurry. Across beyond Larson. It was the pace of a gap which was the uh, first problem for United. Turned it back into the stride of Mravchik, and there was McCanny. Was end of the match for Moravchik. He's off. Jamie Smith, the 21 year old, on. Thompson's layoff. Lennon there first. And Joffrey stopped by a gat. The breaks for Thompson. One by Petrov. Through for Henrik Larsson. Can he score? He's offside. <laughs> Jimmy Smith off and running. Picked out by Paul Lambert. Brilliant from Smith and so unlucky. for his first top-team goal of the season, Jamie Smith, and he won't get much closer than this. Petrov. Lambert screaming for the pass. That's Larson. And Lambert and Lennon deflected wide. Corner kick. Great build up again from Celtic, bags of invention and ideas. What we needed was the finishing touch. 1 0, a fragile advantage for Celtic, despite their superiority. No Baldi or Valharan, but Johan Mialbi aims to make his presence felt here. In from Guppy. And it's Jamie Smith who got his head to it. Easton. Good dummy from Charlie Miller now gets it back from David Winters. On for Al Joffrey. And wide for Patterson. Ricochet back to him off DDA Gats. It's handed back to United. Here's Charlie Miller. <laughs> 89 minutes played. And uh, almost a chance right at the end for United to try to square the game. He was at a very wide angle there, though, was Miller. Almost impossible to have squeezed that one home, I think, past Douglas. It's almost time up at Celtic Park. Smith to Agat. That'll do. Full time. And Celtic move another three points closer to the Premier title, thanks to the only goal of the game from Stylian Petrov. Five minutes before half time. So 16 wins out of 16 in the SPL for Celtic on their home patch. And they've scored 40 goals in the process. And now the Celtic supporters just two more wins away from another championship party. Celtic 1, Dundee United 0.